So what's happened is a lot of those um, sort of the keys have transferred. They've got the shift has been added. So if I just go into a new a new window, so I've got one of my keys programmed for DaVinci Resolve, which was Shift D. It was Super D. Nothing happens. So I'm sure there was a lot of people like going Super. This time. All you need to do now is add the shift. So if I go Super Shift D, he says, yeah, out comes Resolve. So I went through and I, I checked just a lot of the stuff. Let's go to that. But everything like Super W is still the same. But if you wanted to get BTOPS up, you just you would have done Super T, but now it's Super Shift T. So it brings up BTOPS. And then you can just go Super F and go full screen, which is great because it was on F11 for some reason before, but it's not now. So just if you press Super F again, then you go back to normal. So let's just jump back to Workspace One. So that's been, you can see it here. And the other one that, was I found really weird with copy and paste because it used to be super shift C, I think, and super C, and it was just used to throw me. So now it's just super C and super V. Um, so that sort of is, is, you know, works better in my brain. And then also now the clipboard manager has been changed to, as you can see on the screen here, it's gone to super F full screens now 11, super T, and then super return still stays as terminal. But they've added these, these changes, these, these tweaks. Now, what would have happened if you go to into here and you go, hang on, I'm in setup, setup, key bindings. And it launches your key bindings. For me, it launches Kate. You can see that you've now got super shift. If you go back and look at your old key bindings, which they've still kept. So that is, hang on, I've got to remember, it's a super shift F now for file browser. If you go back into your config, Go back into your config file, he says, looking down, where is our, where are you? Config. And then you've got Hyperland. 